1917 is when we became involved, right. and uh, Dad promptly enlisted in the Navy and had a very illustrious career as an enlisted man in the Navy. He was a, a, became a radio electrician at a time when radio code was very, very new. They had sent him to Harvard to learn it, and he was assigned to a sub chaser, submarine chaser in the uh, uh, that was in the Adriatic, covering for French, British, and Italian naval units against the Austrian-Hungarians. And the stories, of course, he wrote, he was very prolific, and he wrote a complete diary, and had some exciting and interesting times. And that sword over there uh, represents the commanding officer's sword that was presented to my dad. Dad tried to give it back to him in the surrender of this battleship. Interestingly enough, uh, when I needed a sword, which was way after World War II and the various uh, ceremonial things that I used, I was too cheap to buy a sword. <laughs> so I used this one until I realized that this was really an heirloom. It was, here was a, uh, a war heirloom that was personally given by dad I had used it simply because I didn't want to spend the money on a new one, but it, uh, I used it throughout my Navy career, and of course it's attracted a lot of comment, a lot of attention. It's an exciting thing.